Watch right here. Take the two inch brush, push it, bend it, and pull it. See, that's wet. And you can slide the paint on there. But it should. Traditionally in America, students are expected to learn math through memorization of times tables and formulas, plug and chug methods, and other tedious ways, all in preparation for high standardized test scores. No, 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 that's not what I mean. This is how math should be. Is there alien life out there? What is the future of the human race? Math has always been an intriguing subject, but with our current math education system, the excitement is all gone. We can make it cool again, and here's how. Math is technically an art form. If educators kept this in mind, the passion and love for math could and will be sparked once again. Textbooks are the main obstacles to this goal. By teaching directly through textbooks, students are bored and frustrated because they aren't getting the personal attention and help that they need. By abolishing textbooks, teachers will be able to use their brilliance and expertise on the subject to teach kids in what will ultimately be a more engaging and exciting way. By doing this, teachers will be happier and more passionate about their classes, students will be engaged and challenged, and parents will be satisfied knowing that their students are succeeding and enjoying something that used to be such a chore. This can also weed out any teachers who can only teach through textbooks, raising the caliber of our educators. Now, what are some things we can do? Boycott textbooks. Contact local representatives to voice your concerns. Make your voice heard through the PTA, school board, and other educational groups. If we do this, things will drastically change for the better. Kids will be more excited to attend their math classes. This can lessen the number of dropouts and will allow kids to actually enjoy their education. More passionate mathematicians will develop which will fuel innovation in the world around us. More mathematical success leads to a better future. Still not convinced? Read Mathematician's Lament by Paul Lockhart. Teach math as an art for a more beautiful world.